Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. I'm reading tonight from step one of the Ladder of Divine Ascent. The title of the chapter is On Renunciation of the World. Here is what I'm going to read for you from St. John Climacus. The man who renounces the world from fear is like burning incense, which begins with fragrance, but ends with smoke. He who leaves the world through hope of reward is like a millstone that always moves in the same direction. But he who withdraws from the world out of love for God has obtained fire at the very outset. And like fire set to fuel, it soon kindles a larger fire. So we hear, hear about the renunciation of the world. Now, St. John was writing this wonderful masterpiece to monks out in the desert. So when he talks about renunciation of the world, he's actually talking about leaving everything behind in the world and fleeing to the desert. So how do we uh, apply this to ourselves when we're living in the world? Well, we take the words of Christ who says that we must be in the world, but not of the world. And we say, okay, how do I renounce the world in the sense that I'm not going to be of the world? I'm not going to be worldly as it were. Well, that's a good question. First, I want to go back real quick and just break down this um, saying of St. John. He says that if we renounce the world out of fear, we're like incense, begins sweet smelling and then it ends up in smoke. In other words, if we decide that we are going to be in the world but not of the world because we're afraid of God, well, we're going to start out with this fervency and this passion and we're going to rush out there in fear and do our best to renounce the world and its cares and to live a godly life because we are afraid of God. And that might start by looking sweet, but soon it will look only like smoke. Because serving God out of fear will only last so long. And then he talks about the second person who leaves the world through hope of reward. That he will be like a millstone, always going in the same direction. In other words, always going in a circle. Never getting anywhere. Doing the same thing over and over again with no advance. Then he talks about the third person who flees the world because of the love of God. And he, it says, has obtained fire at the outset. The fire of God. The fire of of the Holy Spirit, like the tongues of fire on the day of Pentecost. That's the kind of renunciation of the world that we need, that fire. We need a renunciation of the world that is lasting, right? That doesn't grow old, that only gets better and better, that, that goes from a hot flame to a greater flame. The blaze just right, increases. That's the kind of renunciation of worldly things that we need. So what does this mean against, again, simply speaking? If we're to live in the world but not of the world, it means that we're different. We are set apart from the world. We are, the word is sanctified. The other word for it is holy, set apart. We're different. Christ has claimed us. He has changed us. When we were baptized into Christ, we have put on Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So this first step on the ladder of divine ascent is renouncing the world, the cares of the world, the desires of the world, the fame of the world, the notoriety of the world, our desire to be loved by, recognized, and lifted up by, magnified by the world. No, our desire should be to be pleasing in the sight of God. So, may God bless and protect and keep each and every one of you. And may we truly learn what it means to renounce the world, to live in the world, unless you want to go off to a monastery. God bless you. Let's talk. But to live in the world, but not of the world, as our Lord and Savior commanded. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.